I just need to say, teachers, you definitely should be getting paid more. Just, just saying it's really, really messed up. And I just want to say my heart goes out to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks. yeah. Yeah, you're right. And it's not just because I'm a teacher, but definitely teachers are underpaid. They are very underpaid. They lots of times they have to take this work home, you know. Um, they're not just paying you for like, you know, us working there from 7:30 to 3:30. No, sometimes we have to take all this work home. They they don't give you enough time sometimes during uh, the school hours to lesson plan to grade. So you have to take that stuff home. You're not given money for enough money for materials. So sometimes you have to, uh, out of your own pocket, you know, pay, pay for that stuff. I've always, you know, had respect for them. I hated when like students would like just be so rude to teachers talk, like wouldn't let them teach. And I'm, or I'm just like, can you like, I want to listen to the teacher, like shut up. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've, I've I've always had respect for them and thought that they should get paid more. So when like during the pandemic, like, you know, parents were like, finally realizing like, oh, teachers should get paid more. I'm like, oh, you had to experience this now to realize that. Like, mm -hmm. why? Like, mm -hmm. I, this one thing I hate about society is like they have to experience it in, in order to like finally understand. They can't just uh -huh. be empathetic and like compassionate. It's just like, Completely. yeah, like. Completely agree. You're right. You're right. They do. And, and it's ridiculous, you know, because I remember before hearing words, uh, before I was even a teacher, hearing words like, oh, all teachers do is babysit. You're just overpaid babysitters. And it's like, really? Well, let's see you try to handle 30 kids on your own in one single classroom. How, how would you still consider that babysitting? Like, how would you handle that? You know, because um, not anyone can handle a bunch of 30, you know, any grade level, they they're all they're all um, special in their own way, and they're all difficult in their own way. You know, it doesn't matter. You're like, oh, little kids, it's easier to wrangle them up, you know, because they're little. Um, no, they have a lot of energy, and if you don't connect with them, you know, then you can't uh, control them. And then high school students, um, same thing with high school students. You know, they might not have as high energy as elementary kids, but you know, you still have to find a way to connect them, or they will not listen to you. I've done like volunteering after school programs, like done babysitting, and I've experienced kids who like no matter how nice you can be, like, they will just not listen. So imagine, like, yeah, I only, I didn't have to experience that many, but yeah, as a teacher, what if you have, like, a whole yeah. class of kids who are like that? Like, that's, yeah. that's hard, you know? Yes. And it all comes um, to their home. Like, if kids who are like that, it's because there's something going on at home. They don't receive that discipline at home, and the parents are trying to get you to put that discipline yeah. on them. It starts at home. If you don't discipline your children, then exactly that's one thing that frustrates me too is when the parents don't they don't parent and then they expect the other student like you know all the other adults to parent their children it's like no that's your responsibility <laughs> like, you have to do that and then they get mad if like you call out your children or the children get, or, like their children or their children gets detention or something it's like well i mean part of it is because of you <laughs> so yeah, you didn't yes, discipline yeah. You're trying so hard to be their friend instead of being their yes, parent. Yes, 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 yes. And that's a, that's the trend now. They're trying to be friends with their kids instead of being a parent first. So, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so me and Nancy, even though we're not parents, we know more. So <laughs> listen to us. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've just learned from my, I, I'm, I, I don't just learn from my own experience, but I learn from others' experiences. I am very observant. I learn just from observing my parents, other people's parents, and I'm like, okay, this is what I don't want to do. This is what I don't want to do. So I kind of yeah. Yeah. absorb it. So hopefully when I be, do become a parent, hopefully, because I do want to, I'll yeah. be good. I mean, I'm not going to be perfect, obviously, yeah. but hopefully I won't screw them up as much as I was screwed up. <laughs> 